Hi, this is Paul from TraderFifth.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Wednesday, the 20th of February. Something slightly different here. <clears throat> I'm already in FTNT on a fifth wave move on the weekly time frame. Got in that a few weeks ago. Uh, it is a bit of a slow boat, but it's just poking through uh, some a major resistance. And we've got a breakout signal there on the daily. So this is our Elliott Wave indicator sweep for the Thinkorswim platform. As you can see, this is a longer term swing. Uh, where we've had a wave for pullback into our amber pullback zones, which represents an 80% probability it's going to go on and make that new wave five high into automated target zones here, about 105. I entered this at eight, uh, sorry, 79.19 there. We're, we're at 83.93 now. So it's going well. It's longer term. When we're talking like this, this could be 20, 30 weeks to reach the target there. So it's a longer term trend. We, we, we've got to look at all the, other, the other bits and bobs here. So the 535 oscillator is is really, really good for this wave four pullback. And as you see, it's crowned between 90 and 140%, part of our Elliott Wave indicator suite there. And then you can see on the stock ass, we've got our false breakout bar here in yellow at top, denoting a really strong bullish trend on this wave three. And then on the wave four, we pull back into our oversold zone on this wave four and cross over. And now we're on the way back. So we are looking for this now to false break out at the top and continue that bullish trend. Now, the fifth wave move is most likely not going to be as uh, strong as an impulse move as the wave three. Uh, but it's the highest probability move. We've had really good earnings. Uh, just recently on this, it's moving higher. So just wanted to show you where I am on my swing trade on this uh, weekly time frame, on this fifth wave move using our Elliott Wave indicator suite. There, really, really simple works on a 60 minute time frame or a weekly time frame. But what we've got now is an ad additional opportunity for those that aren't in this. So if we go now to the daily time frame, we've had a breakout signal. This signal here, let me just put the, the, the bubbles back on. So this is our black box breakout indicator now. So on the daily time frame, we had a signal a few days ago at 83.95, something like that. Now, it wasn't interesting me at the time purely because we've got to get through this resistance level. And you saw that on the weekly time frame. And these are these highs here to get pushed through. But if we're sensible with an entry here, we could use this breakout uh, either to get an additional entry to add some more shares to that longer term uh, swing on the weekly time frame, or in fact trade it, uh, you know, using options, CFD, something like that, because we've got a lot of space all the way up to $94 here. So I've just been a little bit sensible with the entry, making sure that we're going to be outside of this resistance zone. So although we've got a signal there and we went through the signal and triggered the signal yesterday, I want to be above the high of yesterday. So 84.32 long on FTNT is what I'm looking for here. Uh, 81.31 is the stop. So we've gone really tight here. This is a trade, not an investment. Now, I, I probably will be holding my investment as it is on that swing uh, on the weekly time frame. And on a separate account now, I'm going to try and boost and bolster that by a quick quicker trade. I don't want this on 20 weeks. I want this on probably two weeks at the most on this breakout or until I see signs of a uh, pullback of weakness and then I'll get out. So this is what I'm looking for today. FTNT. I'm using my black box breakout indicator, but I'm using multiple time frame strategies that I use uh, part of my elite training course. I'm using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite because I'm really confident in this stock. Longer term bullish move on the weekly time frame. I've already invested in this stock uh, going through that uh, 79.19 price on the weekly time frame. And I'm looking for a 20 uh, to 30 week uh, run on this fifth wave move. So I've got all that confidence in me. I've just got that black box breakout indicator getting above that resistance level. All things look good. So 84.32 is my entry. 
today for a breakout on FTNT. And the target really is this next resistance zone that I've drawn on from the weekly here, which was a previous wave free high, previous all time high, and that's around $94. But to be honest, a one to two, a 200% win is only at $90 here for this breakout. So there's a lot of fresh air and a lot, a lot of um, room for this uh, potential trade a breakout to go so that's it very very simple using lots of different strategies in there to get this uh, stocks uh, video out for today so have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow